Hello and welcome to this episode of Simply Saturday, where I get to show you a card that is fast and easy to make. My name is Julie and this is Stamp with Julie Baum. Today's card is another fast and easy Christmas card. Um, depending on the words that you put on this card, it could also just be, come here cabbie. My little cabbie is talking to us again today. She's my one of my two little Yorkies. Um, as I was saying, depending on the words that you put on this card, it could also just be a wintry message. I'm going to use Merry Christmas, but you could certainly use different words and then it would be appropriate for any holiday or occasion during December, January or February. All right, so I'm going to be starting with a piece of thick basic white cardstock. And this time I'm going to have my fold here at the top. So this is going to be a top fold card like so. Then I have a piece of Pretty Peacock and I'm telling you Pretty Peacock has been probably my favorite color that I've used for a lot of my Christmas projects this season. Even though it is a blue, it's a very green blue and as you can see it coordinates with several different of our um, designer series papers this season. So I have a piece of Pretty Peacock cardstock. Then I have three pieces of designer series paper. These are all from A Walk in the Forest. And all you need to do is pick three different designs that coordinate well together. I have a scrap of white cardstock. And then I have a really skinny scrap of white and a scrap of Pretty Peacock. All of the measurements for all these pieces that I'm using will be over on my website. So if you want to go below this video, open that description box, I've provided a link for you to my website, Stamp with Julie Baum, and you can see all of the dimensions. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is attach these pieces to our colored cardstock. So the way, the order that I'm going to use, or the order that I'm going to do, is starting with the bottom of the three pieces and in this instance even if the liquid glue is not your favorite I would recommend it only because you might need to be able to slide your pieces around a little bit to make the little borders between the pieces as equal as possible so I'm starting with this bottom one and I'm eyeballing my border on the left the bottom and the right that is going to be my beginning piece. Then when I put these two pieces, I have something that's stable that I can work off of. So this one's gonna go here and I can check my spacing here and at the top and on the left side as well, and then this one. So to my mind, that makes it um, a little bit easier and makes it make sense. So let's put these two in place. Whoops. All right, the colors in this designer series paper are Pretty Peacock and Balmy Blue. There's also some Garden Green and some Pecan Pie. They really work well together. I don't think I would have thought to put Pretty Peacock with Garden Green, but it really works. All right, so there's my pieces. And I'm gonna slide this one down a little bit. Okay, we've got our pieces in place and now this piece is going to go onto the card base. All right, and then we're going to add our decorative elements. Okay, so we're gonna set this piece aside. I'm going to be doing my stamping on this skinny piece. This is gonna be Merry Christmas, and I'm gonna do all of my stamping today in garden green. Now, this is a very skinny strip, and I'm gonna make it fit the best I can on the first try, there we go. 
And then with some scissors, I'm just going to trim that out. You could definitely grab your paper trimmer and trim if that feels more comfortable to you. Um, looking at this side, this end looks a little bit wide, so I am going to try to eyeball and trim this just a bit. All right, I think that's going to be pretty good. All right, now this piece is getting attached to my pretty peacock piece of cardstock. And for today's fast and easy card, I am just going to leave it like that. If you wanted to, you could make banner ends on this piece, but we're going for super fast and super simple. So we're going to go ahead and leave it with just a straight cut. All right. I've got that in place. I'm gonna slide it a little to the right. There we go. Okay, this piece is going to go onto the card. At this stage, you can decide if it's gonna go straight or slightly at an angle. Because my bear is right there, I'm gonna to choose to put it straight. I don't wanna cover his face. And then we need one other element and we're going to stamp a tree. This is um, the tree and the words are from the Berry Cute stamp set that coordinates nicely with the paper, A Walk in the Forest. So I'm using my garden green and doing an outline of the stamp, or an outline of the tree. And then I'll drop the inside detail part of the tree also in garden green. Now there's no dies for this set because when you order it as a bundle, it comes with the bear punch, which can punch out this bear. Um, here's a stamped one that is punched out. So since it came with a punch, there are no dies, but this is quite easy to just fussy cut with your scissors. So let's do that next. All right, so I'm just gonna go close to the image, but I am leaving a little white space. I've actually used this tree quite a bit during the month. And so this is certainly not the first time I've cut a tree out. Round the top. You'll also notice that I tend to move my paper more than I move my scissors. And in doing so, I usually get a nice smooth cut. Get that little sharp edge off. There we go. Okay, now let's complete our card. I'm going to, let's determine where we want this. Let's do a dry fit. So the Merry Christmas is gonna go right there, kind of across the bear's legs. And this tree is gonna go below it. And I think that we'll pop both of those pieces up. So let's grab some dimensionals and put three across here. And I think for my tree, I'll do three like this. All right, I wanna make sure I have room for the tree when I put the words on. So I'm just gonna lay this out again, determine about where my tree is going to go, and then get this into place. All right, and then of course, we're gonna add a little bit of sparkle to this. I like the idea of this little paper piecing. Of course, you could substitute all kinds of different papers there and get a different look. All right, let me grab some sequins, which are just out of reach, so give me a second. These are the adhesive backed glitter sequins, which 
although they've been really popular for the holidays, these are going to carry over nicely to be used in, um, in 2024 on different projects. I just think the blue, the green, and the white are going to lend itself to lots of projects, even when I'm done doing Christmas projects. All right, let's kind of take a peek at what colors. I was gonna do just the white. Let's just stick to white. Why complicate it? All right, so let's scatter them about. I'm probably gonna use five today. Odd numbers are good when you're using your, div um, your embellishments. One, two, three. Yeah, let's use five. I don't want this to look like the bear is gonna eat it. Isn't that funny? That just caught my eye. Should we put one here? There's a little ink smudge there. We could cover that up. Let's do that. Okay, in case some of you caught that, there was a tiny little bit of ink there that kind of wasn't supposed to be, so now we've covered it. One, two, three, four, and five. Just kind of in a zigzag pattern all the way down to the bottom and it draws your eye down like that. It's quite pleasing. And there we have it, our fast and easy card for today, made with super cute designer series paper and just a little peek of that bear. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate when you tune in to watch these card tutorials each Saturday. I'll put lots of helpful information in the description box below this video, including a current host code. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, happy stamping.